Despite starting a new storyline and continuing the Descendants franchise without the original cast, the filming of the fourth part looks impressive already, and the latest news about the show will surely leave you excited. The previous Descendants movies are pretty colourful, but Disney is making Descendants 4 even brighter, as the first look at Kylie Contrell as Red with her vibrant hair says it all. Oh, that was great. Guys, what? did you hear? What? what is it? The title of our movie. Is it what no. I think it is? <laughs> Descendants The Rise of Red! Yeah! Red is one of the leading characters of Descendants 4, and she's also the rebellious daughter of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Malia Baker is portraying Chloe, the daughter of Cinderella and King Charming. Interestingly, Chloe's first look appears calm and subtle, which makes the possible thought of a friendship between Chloe and Red in Descendants 4 exciting. Also, China Anne McLean looks excited to be back as Uma. Even though Descendants 4 is set on a new story and backstories of older characters, Uma, who's from the same generation as past Descendants, will retain her villain attitude and style. But this time, Uma is getting a sister, Olyana, who is going to be just as fierce and evil as her. And the actress Dara Renee is already pulling her dangerous stunts on set that shows that she is ready for Descendants 4 and to give a new meaning to wickedness. Rolling. The performance got even more demanding, but Dara kept her smile as she found it fascinating. Hook, an arrogant rich boy, will also be an essential part of Descendants 4, as he'll be one of the friends surrounding Oyana and praising her evil nature, making him an annoying character. And this role will be betrayed by Joshua Colley. Descendants 4 has an even more interesting plot than what the fans might be expecting. The film isn't following the villain kids moving to a great life at Auradon. It's following a more engaging theme. According to the storyline of Descendants 4, Red might be a disobedient obedient child, but she's brilliant and exciting. And Chloe, just like her parents, is a perfectionist and very competitive. And what brings these two different individuals together is what would be the film's focus. There will be a birth of a new royal baby at Auradon, and the delivery and celebration of this newborn will cause significant problems that could lead to a coup in the great city. However, Chloe and Red want to avoid seeing that happen, as they try their best to stop the takeover of the Auradon's royalty. And it will get intense, because Chloe and Red will only be able to travel back in time to prevent the problem from happening, as they wouldn't be able to confront the dangers in the present time. So, they will do this by travelling via the White Rabbit's pocket watch, and this journey will take fans of Descendants through some incredible friendship bonds, dancing and singing while they take on the adventure. Descendants 4 is really coming with better and improved dances and songs, and the cast spends most of their free time composing music and dancing. Now, it's already certain that the original cast won't be returning, but there are hints that the royal baby belonged to the family of King Ben. It probably goes back to when the villains, princes and princesses struggled and fought for power over good and evil. The last time Disney updated viewers on what was happening with the Descendants characters was a royal wedding between Mal and Ben. Hence, there's likely a shocking story to how Ben's father, King Adam, became the king in charge of Auradon. And there will also be so many exciting ways that Chloe and Red's adventure would turn out, which could mean it's either they stop the dangerous coup from happening or their tricky trip to travel back in time backfired. Also, a a careful look at Descendants The Royal Wedding shows that Descendants 4 was already teased, starting with Ben asking Mao if their marriage is what defines happily ever after. And Mao gave a thoughtful response, saying, For us? Yes. But somewhere, another story could be just beginning. So, the trip down the hole already tells what story to expect next, which is now happening in Descendants 4. Aside from that, just as many fans have theorised and speculated in the past, Descendants 4 will take a lot from Alice in Wonderland, as the Red Queen's palace will be revisited. Descendants 4 is packed with an excellent cast, with Brandy joining as Cinderella, a role that she played in 1997's Cinderella. She celebrated her casting by announcing on her Instagram a picture of her with King Charming, Paolo Montalban, and it looks like the best reunion ever. Rita Ora is also one of the new cast, as she'll be portraying the Queen of Hearts. With these music experts in Descendants 4, fans will enjoy seven new songs and some Disney-exclusive songs that fans have heard before. The good thing about Descendants 4 is that it won't focus mainly on the kids like in Descendants 1 to 3. In this new instalment, there will be plenty of room to shine for every character. And even more shockingly, the parents of the villain kids from the past movies will also feature in Descendants 4. Fans would see more of the Queen of Hearts, as she trains her daughter Red, and sees so much 
much of her rebelliousness in her. But that won't be all because there will be the privilege to see the Queen of Hearts as a teenager, where viewers will experience her sparkling liberal and appealing nature, which is very different from who she grew up to be. And the teen role would be played by Ruby Rose Turner. If you miss seeing the young 1997 Cinderella, then be prepared to go down memory lane because there will also be a teen Cinderella that Morgan Dudley will portray. Unlike the younger Queen of Hearts, Cinderella isn't going to be shown humbly, but as someone who is stubborn and detests helping out her wicked stepmom. The evil Maleficent, Mao's mother in the previous Descendants, will also feature as a teenager in this fourth installment, as Mars will play the role. Maleficent's life of evil from when she was a teenager to how everything and everyone around her influenced who she is will all be explored. Aladdin, enemy to Jafar, will also be in Descendants 4 as a teen, and his love history with Jasmine will be a massive factor in the telling of his story. The younger version of the villains, princes and princesses will take viewers through how schooling was for them before Auradon Prep, which is at Merlin Academy. So Descendants isn't just a new story, it will also give closure to the backstories of many Disney characters before they became adults. And it's so sure that there is a lot of magic and clashes waiting to happen in Merlin Academy. And there would also be a big fight that explains to viewers how the villains lost and ended up on the Isle of the Lost. And how good won over evil by retaining Auradon and getting an advanced life. With a new story, school and cast joining the film, the former cast is uncomfortable with the continuation, as it reminds them of the tragic event ever since they filmed Descendants 3. After filming wrapped for Descendants 3, many of the original cast thought the movie had ended for good, especially since the famous line that could have suggested a continuation would happen wasn't included. But unfortunately, before the release of Descendants 3, Cameron Boyce, who played Carlos, passed away, and things haven't been the same for the original cast ever since. In the same year, when Dove Cameron, who portrayed Mal, was asked if she could return, she replied, What happened was so incredibly heart-wrenching for all of us, and something we couldn't recover from. And so I think the idea of making another movie, while it would be nostalgic for all of us, and while it would be healing in many ways, it might also be super wrong. After Descendants Four was announced by Disney and Sophia Carson, who played Evie, was asked about returning. She answered, Descendants ended for us with Descendants 3, but seeing the love for the franchise is always so beautiful, and I wish them the best of luck. It's understandable why the cast can no longer continue with Descendants. Thoughts and memories from where they used to be complete could hurt them and affect their work, so the best thing to do was to move on. However, many fans threatened to boycott the film because it won't be the same without the original cast, but Disney has promised to take things even higher to excite the viewers as the of Descendants 4 is going on, and filming is expected to wrap very soon. While speaking about the script they were working with, the president of Disney-branded television, Io Davis, mentioned that their young viewers and their families should have high expectations on what to expect with Descendants 4. According to Io, Disney has taken the captivating story written by Dan Frey and Russell Sommer and directed by Jennifer Fang to a new level, different from the past Descendants films. So Descendants 4 will be a unique entertainment experience for Disney Plus and the viewers, even without the original cast. Aside from the excellent storytelling that fans should anticipate, the director Jennifer added that the music in Descendants will be very expressive, and the exploration of characters will follow Disney's diversified universe. Work is actively ongoing with Descendants, which will soon be released, as it's expected to premiere later in 2023 or early 2024, to allow for the perfect finishing and editing to the film. Descendants 4 will first be available on the Disney Channel, and it will take a few months before it reaches Disney+, Plus. the same as how the past Descendants were released. So, what do you think about the fascinating things happening on the set of Descendants 4? And are you excited about the film's new cast? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.